other states have come up with be- a better idea, which is co- which is called a, an o- which is a mandate to offer mental health coverage. Uh, mental health parity, any kind of mandate, makes it coverage more expensive, and most people don't have any need for mental health coverage. Uh, it's a very small percentage of the population, and, and adding it as a mandate, especially with a mandate to a limited group of people, uh, that cost gets borne by a small group of, of businesses and insurance purchasers instead of being borne by everybody. Uh, and again, it's uh, and that cost is also inflated because uh, uh, you're making it mandatory for everybody to have this instead of just the people who feel that they have a need for it. The smallest mandate that I've seen adds at least <laughs> close to about a percent uh, to the premiums that individuals pay. You know, chiropractors, we already have a mandate for them. That adds 3%. And mental health parity uh, is one of the more expensive mandates that I've seen. And so each time that you do that, you make it more expensive for individuals to buy insurance. And if your other concern that people have is that people are going without insurance uh, and so ending up on the government rolls for, uh, for health coverage, you're exacerbating that problem by making it even more expensive every time that you say that insurance companies have to provide this and provide that and provide the other thing.